All right, welcome to day three. We are going through the feature tractors. Unfortunately, this is the last day, and there has been a few that have left, but there's still a huge selection here, so uh, we'll start right here. We'll start walking down the line. Very, very beautifully restored G here. I mean, it is beautiful. Yep, both restored by Lee J. Second Inc. Cheapsecond.com. Is anybody? Um, this is a good job. This is this is a good restore. I mean, this might look better than factory. There are a couple of dents there, but oh, I guess it's just where the welds are. Never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I mean, that is immaculate. <laughs> wow. Come around, we got Frankie. Frankie's been fun. There's always somebody standing around to talk to about it, kind of like these guys. All right. So. Moving on, like I said, we're doing the feature tractors, so I'm going to skip over these green ones here. The feature tractors kind of spread out out of the feature area, so. Let's come on down. Forty-five with the wide front on it. WD with a wide front, straight shaft shifter, so it's a WD, a WC, pair of them, B with a pretty cool blade on the front of it. Pretty cool, that thing's awesome, actually. I'm talking about pretty cool. One of my bucket list tractors, guys. I need one, I need it. And then we need to make it like a thousand cubic inch. And then I need to go pulling it. It's, it's turning past a one. I need one. <laughs> Pretty nicely. Nice WC there. I want one of these too. Not like I want a 220 with front wheel assist. I would take an 8070 with front wheel assist though. Awesome. Oh yeah. We'll make our way around to them beasts. But uh, that one's got the bars on the back. Lift arms, no PTO, but. Not completely naked back there. Stock chopper. I need one of these. That'd be just perfect too. AC orange. It's uh Oh, I forgot where Ted told me. Ted sold this to the guy that had it. I forgot where he said it was made, but it was made by a company for Alice Chalmers. All crop 66. Little roto baler. This 170 though. We'll get around to the plow too. The plow back there is awesome. Look at that. It's 
not perfect, but it's the way I like them. Not afraid to put it to work. Now the plow, on the other hand, now you might be a little worried about putting something like this in the dirt because uh, he probably did this up for shows. I don't even think that's plow paint on them. That just looks like regular paint on the bottoms. But that is a nice plow. Get my gimbal to keep up. You don't have to worry about the super shaky camera, but don't worry about me not being able to run the thing. Oh. That looks like it came off of our farm, don't it? I wish it did come off of our farm. I don't care. We fix all that. You guys didn't notice. I'm sure you did once I showed you that. Yeah, talk to a gentleman that has one of these that he might be willing to sell us. That's cool. I also talked to a gentleman that's got two Alice Chalmers used for a very good price. He's going to sell us, I think. <laughs> so that's a project to look forward to. Perry used coming to the farm. I almost bought one of these when I was looking at that 7045. For about $5,000 more, I could have had one of these, but it was a bareback. There was no PTO, no lift arms on the back. And uh, anyway, I passed on it and I bought that 7045 for a little bit less. I knew the 45 would do the job that I wanted them to do. It just, these things are cool. And I, I almost talked myself into buying one. If it had lift arms on it, PTO, I would have. Right, well, if it just had lift arms on it, I probably would have bought it tell you the truth there was a 7045 around here but a lot of guys have left like I said you see the empty spots as I'm walking 30 and a 20 side by side a couple of the I guess we'll say rare 7000 series wide front WD pin hitch under there A lot of people have left, unfortunately. I wanted to get through this yesterday, but my phone died and then it started raining. And I figured, oh, I'll be up here tomorrow, we'll record it. And of course, we're people leaving, but it is what it is. There's still a lot of awesome tractors here. An old road grader, isn't that cool? Trigger out here to a D15. Right into a WD45. Hooked up to the baler. Roto baler. Aren't the tops of them white? Maybe not all of them. I don't know. No expert on all the implements, I can be the first to tell you that. Now look at this tractor, all right? Beautiful. 
same with this bee. Just might be shinier than they were when they came off of the showroom floor. Just depending on how much wax they put on it, huh? Beautiful. I'll show you the jet star. WD. Bean head on there too to remind you how miserable it could be too. Looks like he used it. Do some weed. He drove this through the parade yesterday. It's kind of cool. If you guys watched that video or not, there'll be a link in the description below. Here we go. Well, let's talk about this. Let's take a gander at this diesel here. What's going on with this one? Uh huh. That one be original. All right. She didn't notice first the Bosch ignition system on or pump system on it, American Bosch, the dead giveaway. Um, it's got these filters down here. There's another dead giveaway. It has the water pump attached to the head. Um, if it's attached to the block, you know that it's either a D19 block or a late D17 block. So. Turn you right around to two more beauties. F-175 is very nice, immaculate. He was wrong on the ears. I'm gonna let him go though. There we go. Oh yeah. I want it. The only thing to make this cooler is if it was unstyled. There we go. Put front wheel assist on that. I want one of these more than I want a D21, guys. Look at the paint. Oh, look at who I ran into. Hi, Bob. Mm. How are you guys enjoying Bob's gathering of the orange experience? I don't know. They see me. <laughs> they just offer information. They just offer information. Turn around. Beautiful 185. They're just, they're like brand new. It's crazy. I love seeing them like this. Not my cup of tea because I like working them, but I sure do like looking at them. So this right here, I've always wanted one of these. This looks like a 190. This is my favorite Alice Chalmers lawnmower, like no question, hands down, the 720. And you guys got one for sale, running or not. Decent price, let me know. Get around, get my camera to pick up. Beautiful D17. Immaculate. The restoration job. Wow. I was hoping he was going to start it. That thing is going to sound cool with that pipe. That's awesome. Talk about a cruiser. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Huh. No. There's some stuff going on here that I'm confused about. It's got a four-speed transmission in it. Like on the CA, it doesn't have the hand torque like the CA. I mean, that's a CA, definitely. But, uh... Something's going on. He modified it. I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. Moving on. Boy, oh boy. Factory power steering. Oh, that is... Boy, that is sexy. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh. I want it. Can I have it? So, we're talking about differences. Number one giveaway, notched out for the oil filter. Number two giveaway, Rosa Master. Uh, pretty easy to tell, this one's a 262. So, this is a snarty little bugger. Ted's, yep. Ted's WF. You guys have seen this on the channel with them old uh, tires on there. Well, good years. They still have the dot on them. And Ted's RC. You've also seen this one on the channel. B, it's got the, the weights here. Some guys don't know what those are. We've got a pair I actually hang from Frankie. Just hang them on the rails when I put the backhoe on it. The CA. So now. You see what I was getting at with that last one? I believe it was just a C. Um, but then they put they put the CA transmission in it to have a four speed, and then they must have used the C side there without the handcuff. So axles. You can also see that that last one didn't have the. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. I might be wrong. WC set up for pulling. 85 horsepower claim on there, boys. <laughs> Get her done. Oh, yeah, so this is uh, Braden Cooks. You guys, he pulls with Captain and Community when we go pulling out. Y'all have seen this car pull. I had no idea at 85 horsepower, though. Get her done. No wonder it's so tough, huh? I am running out of space on my camera. I'm gonna have to go find a spot in the shade to figure out how to get some video space. All right, I found 36 minutes and two seconds worth. So, moving on. I showed you these. We stopped right here at the D21. can see the spaces that are missing it's just yeah we keep crossing each other we got the gathering of the orange experience with Bob mm -hmm. and the gathering of the orange experience with Tim so <laughs> we'll have plenty of video I narrated a, a, a little bit on a plow oh good there's a number one two bottom plow over there which uh, is extremely rare ah one bottom. One bottom. 99% of them. Ah. So he's got a good click there. We got to get together, Ted, with all of our plows one of these times. 
that's it. There's only a couple we're missing. Okay. Here is, I believe, the only other turnover plow that's here. Two bottom. Manual turnover plow. Grab a lever and spin it. Um, I would imagine without any weights on the front of this, but uh, if you shift too hard, it probably pulls wheelies with that plow back there. Here we go. I don't know things. I don't need it, but I want it. And the only thing that would make it cooler is if it was on style. But high crop WC. Next to an LP WD-45. Kind of. Next to a D-21. Next to a high crop LP D-17. So this might be one of the rarest tractors here, believe it or not. Not the rarest, but uh, it's up there. It is definitely up there. Just the LP-17s and then uh, call it iCrop 2. <laughs> yeah, hard pressed to find another one, I'll tell you that much. Awesome. WD-45 with what I believe is a hilling system. I'm not for certain, but exactly what they would use these for. Lay them in the comments, let me know. But you got the shovels back here. Then imagine if you're going fast enough, you could build a pretty good hill with it. And then the big shovels here, they're going to kind of create a pretty good hill to begin with. Single wheel on this bad boy. Very cool. And here's another one of those setups. This one's got the pulley up here and stuff. I, I just don't know what exactly is going on with it. So if someone could enlighten me. Uh, that's 45 wide front. Well, high crops, obviously, some sort of vegetable specials or something. Very cool, very cool. WD-45. So 60, oh, it says 68. I was thinking this one was a 60. But. Dad had one of these with the cab. Front wheel assist was what was different on Dad's. Um, I grew up, I always remember that tractor on the farm. It was my favorite tractor. And uh, when I had the farm auction, he had me get up in the seat and start it. I remember doing my best to hold back tears when that tractor was getting sold. Uh, one of them things as a kid you remember. But uh, that's kind of where my Alice Chalmers, we'll call it addiction started, was riding on this and then riding on that 190 XT falling asleep on the fuel tank as a kid. Spent a lot of hours on them and then this was the first tractor that I got to go out into the field and actually disc with myself. I was doing little things around and this is the first thing dad drove the tractor out to the field and sent me with the Oh, what was that? 18 foot, I think. Anyway, sent me out with the disc and let me finish field. So, a lot of memories in one of those. And I actually just talked to a guy that's got one 6080 front wheel assist. And if we weren't in the process of looking for a couple other tractors, I'd probably be seriously thinking about buying it. It needs an engine overhaul and the price is right. So, who knows? I might end up thinking about buying the damn thing anyway. Dad keeps buying all these that are nostalgia tractors and the 6080 cab front wheel assist is definitely a nostalgia tractor for me, that's for sure. One of the reasons we put that four cylinder in Frankie. Just immaculate. It is pretty good. WF. Unstyled WC. And now this thing. Dad, I know you're watching this. When are we going to make your tractor, your uh, 
diesel 17 looked like this one. It's straight enough tin to do it. We'll make sure we don't have any leaks so that that doesn't happen too. But this thing, I mean, better than showroom. Look at this. Uh, just beautiful. Earlier one, a two or so. Let me see here. Go look at the shifter. Nope, it's a one. Series one. See that there's no thumb guard on the shifter there. And then it does not have the black bar. So as long as everything's original to it, it's a series one. D17 diesel. That thing is just, gosh, that's 720 lawnmower. You know anybody that's got one, let me know. I know they're worth a pretty penny, but if you got one that's a project, let me know. I like projects. I gotta get going here. I'm gonna run out of space again. Kind of push on. There's another series one. No thumb guard. Wow, on steel wheels. RC. I believe on steel. Yep. Wait, what? Yes, yes. Yep. You know why I had to think about that. Sickle mower under there. WD-45 diesel. D-17 block. Maybe. No, no, no. 230. 230. That one is original. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? Another one. Here's the I-40 industrial. So this is basically my 615. Uh, with a different loader and backhoe attachment on it. Another RC and another WF. And a U. Awesome little tractors. Got WD-45 diesel. Original. Another U. Another 2035. Oh, they're just... 2530, would it? Yeah. You guys know I'm just dysle half dyslexic, so... Get this A. Look at the got a tall boy on there <laughs> awesome well here's a d19 set up for pulling got the d17 front narrow front on there to lighten that up drop her down a little bit give her that stance yes sir Here's a factory D19. It's another one that I wish was on the farm. Like I said, sounds like I found one of these for sale. We're getting down to a really cool WD-45 down here. Maroon Belly 7060. Maroon Belly 7040. couple of workhorses all right so now let's get into this 190 XT series 4 I was investigating this tractor a little bit so first of all that's a 426 under the hood you've got an early 190 
front end and grill, well, front end, grill piece on here. Now you come back here, I got to looking at them axles, I'm going, boy, those are pretty big. So then I got to investigating a little bit more on this thing. From here back, that's a 200. Kind of made sense then. So you got the 200 there at 426, and you put the 190 tin work on it. We call it a 190 series four, well, 190 front end. Now, with this thing, this is a WD-45 diesel. You see the bump out? <laughs> that there be a D19 turbo charge Buddha in there. See the water pump is connected to the block and not the head. It's a way to tell a D19 block and the late 17 blocks apart from the rest of them. One easy way of looking at it, but I mean they did really good. Look at that bump out. That company knew what they were doing. It's a 200 from here back. Ah, that's what I, says the no, I just got to investigating. The front end is an early 190, and the back end's a 200. And it's got a 426, but <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but this is uh, very. I'd love to hear this thing run. You got another one of these buttes, 2035. Just a butte. Cool old tractors. All right, we're gonna keep moving on. Alice Chalmers Haybine. I talked about that a little bit. 904. Oh, old crawler. I almost bought one of those at an auction and I had to walk away from it. BD45, so you can see this whole line of tractors here that's missing. There's three complete Beachmaster units. Two of them were immaculately restored. Um, I, I really hope that it's still here. Oh, he might actually be moving it now. I might have to go over there. I'll pay attention. This thing's turned up. He drove it through the parade and opened it up, and it's it's turned up. It's easily all the 500 horse. It says 120 horsepower. Maybe this isn't the one I thought it was. When he hit the throttle, that was not 120 horsepower. I can tell you that much. I swore it was this one with that big stack, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. They just rode 120 horsepower because that's what it is. God, another beautiful A. I want it. Right next to a WF. An unstyled WF too. <laughs> next to a styled one. right spot at the right time guys we're gonna enjoy this thing drive by Keep moving on, I will run out of film here. I got 20 minutes left. It's WD 45. 
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and come right over here. 190. Sitting next to a awesome 170. I've seen this thing before. Came from the Alice Chalmers factory. You guys want to read that? I have uh, heard the story on different YouTube channels that I've watched. If you guys would like to read it? Go ahead and give her a pause. Very cool though. Just a cool little story behind that. WD-45. There we go. Beautiful D21. I like the chrome grills better. Of course. I also like the 220s better. Persecute me if you want. So there's a lowered B. These are, um, you just take and spin the drop down axles around and spin the front end around. And pretty much there you go. People gear them up so they go faster and take them on road drives. Pretty cool little things. you with a belly mower. CA, CA. Believe that's uh C. I believe. Anyway, moving on. I looked at it enough. Hold on, I can tell you. Yeah, that one's a C. The steering shaft goes over. Just gotta think about it for a second. And then there's a C sitting here to remind me, so. WD with a WD-45 bent shifter on it. Probably 45. WD, straight shifter. WD. WD-45, another WD-45, another WD. Straight shifter, oh, they put a little bent thing on it. To, Make it like a 45. Why don't you just... The thing that they cut off of there, they just could have replaced the tower. Anyway, moving on. Roto Baylor. 185, hooked up to uh, Alice Sprayer. WC. Cool pipe on it for a WC. It's neat. WD 200 190 XT. Got some year rounds on there. A pair of them. Crop hustler. Hustling all the crops. <laughs> D15 Series 2 gasser. It's another one we need. Want whatever you want to call it. D14. WC. WC. 2 1 style WC. Here's the B's then. So you see the steering shaft is down instead of up. Dead giveaway on the B's and the C's. If you're not sure, these are all B's. Awesome four bottom. Appears to be in pretty good shape. There's a C then. Steering shaft pointed up. WD with some aftermarket kind of flat weights. Close enough, I guess. Uh, 
Look at this bad boy. color there but still looks good. Little painter up RC. Oh hey there's another turnover plow on an LP. Ooh, we'll get over there. Oh wow. Oh hey look at this thing. Alright. <laughs> That's neat. See ya. planners. That thick is the number one plow that Ted was talking about. Super rare. Usually see them as a one bottom. It's rare to have them as a two. So here is the other four bottom that I bought. My slap plow, except this is a five bottom. That's what it looks like all done up. I don't know the number of disc here, but snap a couple of Alice Chalmers disc. Got four bottoms. Got 190 there, I think it is. We'll get over there and take a look. Oh, here you go. Silage blower. Blower. Little mower. An all crop. What do you guys know yep. today? Yep. Next to another one. I've almost made it through these lines and I've still got uh, about 22 minutes left of footage. So, doing good, doing good. M Crawler. A WM Orchard. Okay. <laughs> Look at the 620. With the back hole. <laughs> awesome. I take one of these two guys. Just any of them that look like the 100 series tractors. Any day of the week. Love to have one. Pretty nice in there. Forty-five with the power shift. Open station, kind of well converted. Open station. Seventy sixty. That's pretty cool. Craig, if you're watching it, I know you're drooling right now. That'd be the cat's ass for you. Craig doesn't like cabs on his tractors because when the air conditioner stops, which I completely understand. I really do. But there, there you go. When you get one, that's what you do. You just cut the cut the front of the cab off. B45 with some actual slat weights there. WD45 diesel. With the 230. I love the chrome, that's awesome. I bet those were pricey butters too. Add a touch. See, eh? Oh. 
There we go. Let's get turned around now. I skipped a couple over here. So, here we go. Here's one we haven't seen yet, a D10. Aren't they cute? It's a dressed up CA. They're cute. Oh, hey, if I showed you the tractor, my goodness. Look at this thing. This is a little teeter totter. Kids are out playing on it. Oh, it is a 200. That was wrong. step back so you guys can soak this one in I go around to the other side here high crop diesel 17 never seen one in person but here we go Make it through them all? No. No, just the one. Cool. You know, I was only one of these I've ever ran was a IH 2MH. And all the chains were exposed next to you. And, um, you basically had to be very claustrophobic. At any point, you could put your finger in the wrong place, and it's gone. He gone. You know, like maybe not just your finger, your whole arm or body. Yeah, I hated around that thing. Happiest day of my life when I was loading it to sell that thing. It was a nice item. It had power steering and the overdrive gear. It was a nice item and all, but wrong color. Made a pretty penny on it too. The pie weights on that. Bracket for the flat weights too. Got another D10 back here. Makes this beautiful 14, I think. Yep, 14. Two. Somewhere around here there was a D15 labeled Series 3. D15 Series 3. Uh, I'm afraid that it's gone now. Uh, Bob is looking at it. I think he got footage. Let's check his video out. But it had a spool and live hydraulics off of a Series 417 put on it called a Series 3. That's cool. 
So here are Norm Miner's two pieces, or I think uh, that might be his too, if he brought both of them. Um, th there'll be a video coming up on this guy's collection. It's, uh, it's, it's um, you never see anything like it, so subscribe to that if you want to see that. Sometime this year we'll be doing a video on that. Um, I've already got to walk through his collection and got to talk to him about this. He recently got it. Uh, here I'll, I got to hear the story from him, but you see AC made the push rail cards. This was uh, at the, um, I think the West Dallas plant, he said. Uh, but Alice Chalmers made this to, exactly as it says, push their train cars around. Big steel on there and big bumper. Waukesha, big Waukesha in there. Um, I believe it started as a U, what he told me. That in there, and put the extra seat back there. That was probably added later for rides or something, but either way, this thing's awesome. Starts, fires up. Just cool as can be. The back rims are just like that. You can't, I don't think you can see them. Oh, sure you can. Right in there, they're not painted, but Alice Chalmers. It's kind of neat walking around with Norm talking about this thing at his place, so. I haven't done a video yet, but I got permission from him. First time anybody's taken photographs since uh, Wendell's book, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yours truly gets to walk through it. I feel very privileged for that. So, moving on, a C8, a WD-45 diesel with the 230. Oh wait, I've already been here. What am I talking about here? <laughs> like, wait a minute, there's my chrome. So here's a couple of tractors that I bypassed, I, I believe. U45 with uh, this on it. Never seen one. I'm guessing. Now bear with me. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that this would be a unit that you'd have a wagon hooked up back behind you and you'd go around and pick up square bales with it. I'm guessing. Play it in the comments, let me know if I'm an idiot or if my educated guess was correct. Ah, I like this one. What's going on here? I gotta investigate this. You notice how there's nothing up there. It all runs under the machine, or what's going on? Yep. Oh, now that right there was ingenuity. I don't care what you got to say. Huh. Never seen a picker like this, but that is amazing. Just like I was talking about, you're up inside of there in them other ones. And this one, everything's underneath you. Still a pain in the rear end to get on and off of it, I see, but that is very cool. I like that. Definitely like that design better than the others. All right, I'll walk over here. I got one more big tractor to show you. 7045. Let's go see if it's a bareback or not. What's on the back of it? Oh, can't get through that way. So, walk around here. Oh, hey, there's that Beachmaster again. Sexy, sexy. I'm on camera, catch up. Ooh, it's got a PTO and lift on the back of it. Very good. Well, I need to get over here and get my parts before L&L takes off. A few parts sitting over there that I bought. It's also where my D19 uh, diesel pistons came from. I'm gonna go find Tom and I'm gonna walk them over there and I'll uh, get a couple of videos of them in there. Go see what else we find to record. Okay, so this Ford F250 here, 
has got a 2900 house chalmers engine in it. And it's they did a good job on it. They're Ford Alice. Very cool. So, here is an HD 41 dozer. You can see by the size of the boy standing there how big this thing is. I mean, it's it's massive not just to, you know, when it, the time period that it was built. It's massive to today's standards. Um, you know, makes this golf cart look like a toy. Look at that. Right on the other side of that white building, I said he can't miss it. Yeah. Just massive. Yeah, good timing. Yeah, I think he had good attention to it. Friday was a record, yesterday was a record. There we go. 105,000 draw bar pull at 1.2 mile an hour. 300 gallons of fuel. 525, 4 horsepower, 73.75 tons. Massive. Step back and give you guys an actual. I mean, look at the people standing next to it. She's not even hardly as tall as the tracks. The bucket's so heavy they gotta take it off to transport it on the low boy, they said. Amazing.